Hello YouTube, this is DVD Review Studios here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review on Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, directed by J.J. Abrams. This was overall an absolutely astounding film, really enjoyed every single second, and in this review I shall be doing half non-spoiler and the rest of it shall be spoiler filled, so let's begin with the non-spoiler section. So to kick off the non-spoiler section of this review, let's begin with the opening sequence, which was absolutely astounding, a very compelling way to introduce the storyline of the First Order versus the Resistance, along with introducing the Stormtroopers and the brand new villain Kylo Ren, which the Stormtroopers completely subverted what we used to from the original films, and I quite enjoyed the cinematography as the Stormtroopers are held in the troop carrier before it lands, along with how they just completely obliterated a whole village of people in such a brutally pleasing way. Just such an incredible scene that hooked the audiences instantly. Literally, there were proper soldiers in this film, ruthless, intimidating, and overall absolutely incredible. And speaking of incredible, Kylo Ren, portrayed by Adam Driver, what an immense introduction to such a charismatic villain. I really enjoyed every single sequence that he was involved in, even though his character did sort of decline, in my personal opinion, towards the end of the film. Um, but he definitely juxtaposes Darth Vader by actually having humane qualities, but... The character was menacing, badass if you would call it that, a really great stunning villain. That definitely a compelling villain that I cannot wait to see more of in the sequels and how the character evolves. So along with quite a few new antagonists, we have plenty of heroic characters that are worth exploring. Beginning with Poe Dameron, portrayed by Oscar Isaac, this was a character that surprised me probably more than any other. Um, based on what I'd read about the character before seeing the film, I did very much dislike the character, especially since he seemed like an obnoxious X-Wing pilot, which I personally cannot stand those kind of characters. However, I do stand corrected, he was the complete opposite. Although his capabilities as being the best pilot around were frequently brought up, he did instead feel like a new version of Han Solo from A New Hope. It just, the character with the humorous dialogue, it really did remind me of the young version of Harrison Ford from the original films. However, there's not really any other comparisons to the character. But he had me in stitches laughing, in particular the first thing he says to Kylo Ren in the opening sequence was hilarious, and overall I really did quite enjoy the character. So, adding to the heroes, we have Rey and Finn, which both in their own ways impressed me. Similarly with the droid BB-8, which was obviously a brand new design based on the original sketches for R2-D2, and I really do love that droid. It was absolutely adorable to see it in the film, and really did intrigue me. I cannot wait to see more gadgets and gizmos that that droid has in the upcoming sequels. So, the three characters had a fantastic sequence on Rey's planet Jakku as they escaped death from the First Order. Amazing chemistry between all the characters, along with a potential love interest forming between Rey and Finn, which hopefully may blossom in the upcoming sequels. Um, the CGI and practical effects were definitely blended well, as we saw a whole variety of aliens and droids which were all new to the ever-expanding Star Wars universe. The character of Rey, portrayed by Daisy Ridley, honestly does remind me quite a lot of Luke at the beginning of the film. I very much liked her background as a scavenger, especially seeing her travel past the pleasing imagery of the fallen X-Wing and Imperial Star Destroyer, just as we saw them in the trailers. It almost made me laugh, because when she was scavenging for pieces, it really did remind me of Pixar's Wally, -E, which was quite interesting and entertaining. The reintroduction of Han Solo, Chewie and Leia was absolutely perfect. They fit in so well returning to the movie franchise, even if they have aged slightly. It just proves that they'll forever be a part of us and forever a part of our childhood, since many of us did see Star Wars when we were very young, along with Luke Skywalker, which I won't give any details of till the spoiler section of this review. However, the introduction of Han and Chewie, what a hilarious sequence. It really was perfect, it was a typical situation of their characters, and seeing Harrison Ford punching people and getting back into action, his chemistry between Chewbacca, it just hasn't differed in the slightest, he feels like the exact same Harrison Ford that we knew from the original films. What a perfect actor he is. So that's going to be it for the non-spoiler part of this review. Overall, of course, I really did enjoy this film. It was absolutely astounding, and J.J. Abrams has paid amazing tribute to the original films just by creating this masterpiece. So if you're worried about whether or not it will ruin Star Wars for you or whether or not you should see it, definitely do so. You won't regret it in the slightest. It's an amazing homage to the originals, and overall it's a great way to just continue the amazing storyline of Star Wars. So definitely give this film a watch. It's easily my best film of 2015, and uh, I obviously give this film a rating of 5 out of 5. Thanks for watching my non-spoiler section. This next section is going to be riddled with spoilers, so if you still want to see this film spoiler-free, then please click off my review now. Alright, so beginning with the spoiler section of this review, I'll start off with the biggest and most significant scene throughout the entire film, and that was the death of everyone's beloved smuggler Han Solo. I genuinely cannot describe how unexpected this was. It was something that I did begin to question, but 
As soon as I decided against it happening, it did happen. Kylo Ren, or Ben Solo, the son of Han Solo, brutally annihilates his father without any mercy or regret, and I didn't really anticipate much from Kylo Ren, but this has set my expectations for the villain through the roof. Especially since the Supreme Leader Snoke, which is the new kind of Emperor character of the new trilogy, um, basically described Kylo Ren as lacking in training, so imagine how bloodthirsty and villainous the character is going to be with training in the upcoming sequels. It's something that I cannot wait to see, the evolution of Kylo Ren's behaviour. So this was definitely the most thought-provoking sequence from the entire film, however I would arguably say it was the most evocative scene from the entire film, just because of the cinematography. Um, the entire sequence takes place on the brand new Death Star, which is known as Starkiller Base, and in order for the Starkiller Base to actually power its massive gun, it drains energy from distant suns, and Kylo Ren, when confronted by Han Solo, looks up and sees the sun drained of energy and turning white as ice, and as soon as he sees that, it was actually quite a nice convention as though Kylo Ren's love for his father just turned cold as ice and that's why he put his custom made lightsaber right through Han Solo. It was an amazing scene and overall was just definitely worth analysing to that kind of depth. It was an amazing film and that scene just made this film so much more darker than I originally anticipated Star Wars to actually become and definitely has intrigued me to see how Kylo Ren performs in the upcoming films. I really cannot wait to see more from this character. Moving on to the second biggest moment of the film was definitely the reveal of Luke Skywalker at the end, which was an amazing sequence overall. I mean, Mark Hamill was only in the film for 30 seconds, which was kind of disappointing. I did expect a little bit more, um, but Luke Skywalker was the talk of the film, and the big reveal at the end was worth it. I'm so glad that was not spoiled in any of the trailers, and I really cannot wait to see how Mark Hamill handles the role of Luke Skywalker in the upcoming sequels. Uh, it was definitely left on a great cliffhanger, quite literally if you know what I'm talking Talking about and overall I really just loved how he had shared similarities with Yoda becoming a hermit and hiding from civilization. It was just a really intriguing ending and overall the best part was probably seeing Luke's robot hand uh, without the human prosthetic covering it. It was just a very cool look for Luke and I really cannot wait to see more from him. So that was the sequence involving Luke Skywalker. So finally, let's discuss Starkiller Base, which was actually the original name George Lucas planned to name Luke Skywalker, Luke Starkiller. But the Starkiller Base, what an amazing addition to this amazing film. Even though some of it did feel like a remake of A New Hope, it was all brand new material in some areas. I mean, seeing the red flare of destruction travel from Starkiller Base across the universe as Kylo Ren stands in his spaceship watching from the window, knowing a whole planet is about to be disintegrated. Overall, probably my personal favourite scene from the entire film. It really did convey quite a darkness to Kylo Ren. And overall, I really did love seeing the destruction of Starkiller Base, seeing all the stormtroopers get destroyed in fight sequences. Overall, this film had so much potential and definitely lived up to the hype. The potential's there for new sequels to come out, and I really just loved every single scene. It was an amazing film. J.J. Uh, Abrams did an amazing tribute to the original films just by making this brand new edition. And overall, this was definitely a film worth checking out. Easily a new favourite Star Wars film of mine. So here is my updated rank of seven films from best to worst, as you can tell, since I love this film. Uh, it's in third place at the top. So yeah, thanks for watching my quick review of Star Wars The Force Awakens. Be sure to leave a like down below and let me know what you thought of The Force Awakens in the comments.